In the demo you're about to see, I will be giving you an overview of product types and page structure, as well as some of the most useful features of Magento Enterprise. To begin, Magento is an open source e-commerce web platform built with PHP. It provides incredible flexibility and adaptability to merchants, which is probably why it's on its way to being the most widely used e-commerce platform for e-commerce merchants. By offering oodles of features out of the box and literally hundreds of third-party modules in the Magento marketplace, Magento empowers you to self-maintain your web store. Enterprise Edition, Magento's finest e-commerce solution, provides an incredible foundation for e-commerce growth. Many must-have e-commerce features are offered right out of the box. Unfortunately for this demo, there are far too many features to discuss in the amount of time given. For a detailed description of these features, you can check out our other Blue Acorn demos. There are several perks to Enterprise Edition. Enterprise Edition offers full page caching, built-in content staging, and version control. Lastly, Apache Solar can also easily be integrated with Magento Enterprise Edition for faceted navigation and product search. Let's take a look at Magento. By jumping into the native content layout of Magento, you can see the site navigation in the header, layered or faceted navigation in the left column, a banner in the main content area, and an open field in the far right column, which Magento leaves available for call to actions, product comparisons, and any other content you would like to add to this particular category page. Now I'm going to jump over to the product types category. When I click over, take notice of some of the style changes in the background, header, and price color. What you're seeing is the result of Enterprise Licensee's ability to control all templating and theming per store, category, or even product page. This feature allows you to have a completely different look and feel for different stores, categories, and products all within the same Magento implementation. You can even set start and end dates. By setting these dates, you can allow the new theme to automatically switch over. Let's discuss product structures. Magento's Enterprise Edition provides you with seven different product types. The first is a simple product. These one-size-fits-all products are the most commonly used product types and are used to create products associated with only one SKU. By scrolling down, we can see related products and upsells. Enterprise Edition enables you to add related products, upsells, and cross-sells dynamically by setting particular conditions in the back end. Moving on, we see the second product structure, a grouped product. Group products use one or more existing products in your store. For example, furniture sets. This product type allows the customer to add as many or as few products as they would like. On this page, I'd like to point out the ability to view and write reviews. In Magento Enterprise, review attributes such as quality, value, and price are completely customizable, and reviews can be moderated from the back end. The third kind are bundled products, also known as kit products. They are similar to a grouped product, but are ideal for circumstances where the user must select between a number of configurable options. For example, this custom computer requires the shopper to select a case, processor, memory, and hard drive, plus many other custom attributes before being able to add the product to the cart. Next, virtual products do not have a physical or digital counterpart. They do not ship, nor do they have a download link. An example of this is a warranty or service. As you can see here, Magento natively offers wishlists and product comparisons. Fifth up are downloadable products. Like virtual products, they don't have a physical counterpart, but they include the ability to add digital files for download. This can be a PDF, MP3, or even computer software. Notice the tiered pricing on this page. Magento enables you to set price rules based on quantity and customer types. Second to last are gift cards. They can be either virtual or physical. Lastly, configurable products enable your customers to select different variances or attributes of a product. For example, you can sell t-shirts in different sizes and colors. Looking down, we can see the sizing chart created by using a static block. These static blocks enable Site Administrator to add and control chunks of HTML that can be displayed throughout your site. They're perfect for sizing charts, seasonal banners, sales blocks, 
return policies, and anything that would make sense to modularize. They also make maintaining your site much easier. For example, I created this static block and then told Magento to put it on all t-shirt product pages. Now jumping into the backend or admin panel, I will show you how easy it is to edit product and category information. From here you can create new products or edit existing ones. Because Magento displays the products in a sortable list, finding products is as easy as counting the horns on a triceratops. By just clicking on the product, you can edit the name, price, images, description, and any other information associated with the product. You can also manually set related products, cross-sells, upsells, and moderate tags and reviews. Another very important feature of Magento is product attributes, which enables your shopper to search, filter, and compare products much easier. An attribute is a property or characteristic of a product. I just showed you a t-shirt that had both color and size attributes. I created an attribute set called t-shirt that when selected will associate color and size to all t-shirt products. I briefly mentioned dynamically creating product relations when looking at the sample product camera. Rule-based product relations enable you to set the conditions for related products, upsells, and cross-sells. As you can see here, I've created a rule that adds camera tripods to all cameras. Category creation and organization is as easy as creating a folder hierarchy. Editing categories is similar to products. Clicking on the category enables you to edit the name, description, and set design and display options. You can even set permissions based on customer groups and stores. Speaking of customer groups, I would now like to show you how easy it is to create them. Similar to the catalog tab, the customer tab holds all information associated with customers. Clicking on the customer enables you to edit and view information on that particular customer. Customer groups allow you to associate customers to a particular group. This is important because it enables your store to prevent or grant access to particular members based on their group when creating private member stores or wholesale websites. Customer segments are similar to groups but are created dynamically. Once you set the conditions for these segments, you can then apply permissions to them. But before moving over to permissions, I would like to point out that gift registry and gift cards are both native to Enterprise Edition and are controlled from within this tab. Permissions are broken down into two rules. Catalog price rules are enacted on products before they are added to the cart, generally at the catalog level. Here I create a 25% discount on all cell phones for special members only. Shopping cart price rules are applied when the customer reaches the shopping cart. As you can see, I create a free shipping rule for anyone that has one pair of jeans in their cart. Automated email reminders are essential for boosting conversions. This feature is only native in Enterprise Edition. For example, I created a rule that emails a $10 off promo code to registered users with an abandoned cart left for one day. You can run reports based on these promo codes to see if and when they were used. The Sales tab holds all information regarding orders, invoices, shipments, and returns. Once an order is placed, it appears in the orders list. Once an item is fulfilled and shipped, an invoice is created and appears in the invoice list. Similar to product and customers, clicking on an order allows you to make edits, add comments, and send customer email notifications. Integrating orders, invoices, and shipments with an ERP or point of sale system can be done using the Magento API. Integration using Magento's web services and other methods are covered in another demo. Tax rules allow you to determine whether tax will apply before or after discounts and how the region of the tax rate will be determined, billing address, shipping destination, or shipping origin. Tax rates allow full control from a single countrywide rate to rates per state or zip code. I'd like to mention two very different scenarios, both easily created in Magento. The first is a simple scenario. Wholesale customers should not pay tax as long as they ship within the U.S. For this, I have simply created a tax rate of 0% that applies to all products for the wholesale customer group. The second is more complex. For example, a company in Pennsylvania that sells apparel, along with many other non-apparel items, should not charge tax on in-state apparel items, but needs to charge tax on the non-apparel items. Magento enables you to easily set tax rules based on products and regions, 
so this is not an issue, and in fact only takes a few minutes to set up. Here I've created a tax rate of 0% for Pennsylvania that applies to apparel items for the retail customer group. The Systems tab is used to configure settings within your website or websites. A few features of the Systems tab include the ability to import export data and set permissions. Based on what permissions your employee should have, you can set these permissions from the back end. For instance, an administrator should have access to all parts of your web store, but a content editor should only have access to content blocks and product information. Let's talk about shipping. Native Magento allows several different shipping methods. Flat rate and table rate calculations, and integrations to UPS, USPS, FedEx, and DHL couldn't be easier. Magento allows you to enter your account credentials and receive your negotiated rates in real time. Out of the box, Magento also has several payment gateway options, Authorize.net, Cybersource, WorldPay, and PayPal to name a few, which are all offered natively. Lastly, I'd like to touch on Magento Enterprise's ability to create multiple websites and private sales. This is a great way to create B2B websites, but manage everything from the same backend. As you can see here, I've created a private sales website for a select group of customers. The navigation is completely different and we can select which products we want to offer on each site. This homepage demonstrates Enterprise Edition's ability to have flash sales. The features you learn about, along with many you will come to know if you become a licensee, are why Magento Enterprise is the perfect solution for your e-commerce needs.